So yes, Wales are out of the World Cup. I did watch the game last night and I was just overwhelmed, blown away by all the messages of support and all the condolences. Thank you for that. But let's be honest, the two best teams got out of the group, England and America. Congratulations to both. Anyway, enough of that. Ian, the master of pieces, part-time eBay reseller here in Matt Oheed. Today, we're gonna to lift the spirits by hitting a few charity shops to try and find some bits to resell on eBay. I've also got a really nice Facebook Marketplace pickup to make as well. Let's crack on. What better way to start the day than rummage through a box of toys already? A Hot Wheels Monster Jam Monster Truck. Love that design, not seen that one before. So we'll get that one. Mm -hmm. Peeping in there as well, eh? There's Ash. Ash off Pokemon. Get that one too. It's a Monster High doll scooter in there. Looks complete. I don't think this one is the desirable one. I think there's a black one, which holds a bit of value. Daddy. So we won't get that Look one. It. Quick rummage through the teddies, and I come across this one. It's a Rush Troll, it is five quid. Seems pricey, doesn't it? But quick Google lens search. And this one come up as Buster the Kid. Not many listed, not many sold, but the last one went for just under 20 quid plus postage. I like him. I'm gonna get him. Look at that in the clothes rail there. Paris Saint-Germain. I will have a closer look to see if they're official. Man United there as well, there. Climb the cool. Hey, Juventus? Daddy, I found this one. And Barcelona? So all of these shirts, they are all fake. You can tell, the feel of it feels pretty cheap. The tags are an absolute mess. You haven't got the official Adidas tags, anything like that on there. So we'll be leaving all four of those. There's that logo I'm always looking out for, Leapfrog. This is a Leapfrog baby animal zoo alphabet thing. Daddy. £3.50. It's got patches in, it is working. Usually I don't even bother looking at the baby toys, but that logo caught my eye. Look at it, solds. Well worth the £3.50. Have a look at this down here, a Hot Wheels loop. Reminds me of the reseller Drag Race. If anyone wants to see another one of those, let me know. I'm up for doing another one, maybe in the new year. Have a look at this duffel bag here. It's a Callaway gym bag. Pockets on the end, strap on the top. It does have Wales National embroidered into the end there. It's only a fiver, but one thing I want to get better at is, is considering the sell-through rate. So there are a few of these listed up for about 30 quid plus postage-ish, but there's only four or five that are sold. I mean, there's still profit in there. I'd imagine that Wales National will hamper the Daddy, price a bit. Hold my money. So I'm gonna leave it. Daddy. All right, so they've had a good reshuffle of this shop. They've changed everything around. All the board games are on the top yeah, shelf. Carcassonne. Yeah, and I know. Eight quid though. We will have a look at solds. Sold this one brand new, did pretty well. So pre-owned, it might go for about 15 plus posters, but it seems to be a bit of a hard sell. Everyone's looking for brand new versions. Which go for about 25 quid plus posters. So, it's going back. I did not realize Build-A-Bear did minions. Looking at solds, they do all right. But the ones that do all right, they've got the overalls on. I'm not gonna pick this one up, but it's one when it's complete, I will be looking out for I just had to get this. Look at this. A retro head backpack. I did pay up for it. I paid a fiver for it. But this is going to be my new sourcing bag. So when you see me out and about, I'll have this on. This will be what I'm going to be keeping all my goodies in. Ah, get it. I thought I was onto an absolute bolo here. Look at this game. It's called Battle Cry. Now there is a battle cry game out there that sells for a heck of a lot of money. Unfortunately, this is not it. 12 quid as well. It's not even worth taking a punt on it at that. And then also, look at this. Command Decision World War II Miniature Wargaming Game. 
35 quid on the tag. I've had a look inside. I mean, that's unpunched. But all it is is just one thick manual. I will look at souls. 35 quid though. It's going back. Bop Extreme 2. Sell for about 13, 14 pounds plus posters. I pay anywhere up to a fiver for them because they do sell quick. That one's 8 quid, so we won't get that one. Got some signed pictures down here. Some strictly come dancing autos. Wee Family Trainer. Extreme challenge. Should come with a mat and a game. Three quid. Well, a mat's definitely in there. No sign of a game. I'd pick that up for three quid if it was all complete in there, but not for a part complete set. What have you found there? What have you found? A huge bag of cars. Trust you to find a huge bag of cars. Tenner. What's in here then? We're gonna buy it. Ten. A big mix of random cars. But look at this, look. That is a Corgi Semex concrete lorry. And, Daddy, it's and there's the front of it there. And it's a connect. That is really, really rare. Looking at solds, just that in that condition, you're looking about 25 quid plus posters, something like that. If that was in the box, you're looking for much, much more. So for a tenner, for just a bag of old toys that everyone, I guess, is coming here and just discounted, you didn't have to dig too deep to find that. Makes me think now, what else is in the bottom of this bag? So a little car update, as expected, a lot of bulk in there, a lot of unbranded, made in China cars. Those will be going straight back into the charity shop. There was this Disney car, Drip, number 36, not worth selling on its own, but I'll keep that in, um, for the next car's bundle. Diecast, Bertie the Bess, Thomas the Tank Engine, again, good for bundling. Catboy, random Catboy in the mix. A couple of modern Bob the Builder um, vehicles, not much value on their own, they'll probably go back to the charity shop. A couple of little Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels motorbike and a Hot Wheels helicopter, they're quite cool, that'll go into the boys collection of cars. Look at that. Another That's Monster that. Jam, Monster Truck, absolutely wrecked, but still good for bundling. Again, another little bundle there, a blaze on the Monster Machine truck, so not too bad but not much value. That is where the money is. Look what was tucked away on the top shelf. I mean, you can see why. It's a lady death figure. They've got a price of 30 quid. Solds for this or anything between 20 and 50. Nice to see box toys like this out in the wild. A bit too much for me, not enough markup. Back to the top shelf where that belongs. What's this in this box here? Absolute turn of scale electric sport track. A couple of official scale electric cars. It's got the power, We've got the triggers. Let's see how much that is. I remember I've, what I've done with this before, I just sell the track off individually and bundle, sell all. Sell a load of straights together, sell a load of curves together, and it's always gone out really quick and done really well. Even this stuff, this, that does really well. We'll get that. I've just grabbed this off of the top shelf. Parker Striker Five Side Football with Kick. Box is wrecked. Box is non existent. Got the board. Board looks good for the age. And then it's got some footballers and some goals. I think it's missing a heck of a lot, there's no ball with it. But I've seen this sell for parts. It's going to be a lot of fat though, isn't it? I've got plenty to be getting on with, so I'm going to leave this here for someone else. So, I end up getting all of this for a tenner. I mean, I haven't even gone through how much track there is, but there's, there's easily more than a tenner's worth in there. There's more than a tenner's worth probably just just in the cars alone, but I will go home and test all that. I then saw this as well, from the mid 90s. We've got a Cindy doll's house. Need to do a lot more research into it, but it was only a fiver and it looks to have loads of accessories inside. Don't know if it's worth that, but I bought that for the research. 
And then here's a little bolo. Keep an eye out for these play school glow in the dark bugs. You can see on the bottom there it does say play school. These are really collectible. And this one come with its little sleeping bag as well. Should be looking at a tenner plus postage just for that. So we've had a bit of luck in the charity shops today. Let me rewind a couple of days and show you this Facebook marketplace pickup. It's Sunday morning, as another Facebook Marketplace pickup. I was going through Facebook Marketplace last night and I found a bundle of Lego dinosaur sets. Retired sets, all the minifigures, all the instructions. It's a must have. And actually I messaged the lady and it turns out she's the same lady that I bought all the Schleck dinosaurs from last weekend. She's having a big clear out of all of her kids stuff. It's exactly what I'm after. Let's go and get it. Lego's in the boot and I'm really chuffed with that pickup. And you know what, I actually got chatting with them a bit. Really nice family. And what they're doing is they're clearing out a lot of their children's old toys in order to fund their own Lego habits. They are mad Lego collectors. They were very open with me and said that they were looking at selling this stuff on eBay and knew they could get better prices on eBay. But you gotta remember people see eBay as a bit of a hassle. Yes, you can get more money for the items, but particularly with Lego, is it all complete? They're still gonna have to have the, the items sat around their house until it sells, and who knows when it could sell. I mean, Lego does sell pretty quick, so I wouldn't see that as a blocker. You gotta package it up well. You gotta post it. You gotta make sure it gets there. There's all the risk of the buyer not being happy with it. And some of those reasons are enough for people to actually not use eBay. Facebook Marketplace, I find, is a very place to sell you can arrange times that suit you to come around and, and collect you can show the items before you sell them and make sure everyone's happy that's why they're using marketplace they're not getting the top price that they could get but they're comfortable selling on that platform and i can see these guys being a really useful contact to me they have got tons of lego and all they want to do is just sell that Lego off so they can buy more sets. Well, I'd love to buy all their old sets off them. We can enjoy doing them ourselves. We can then sell them on eBay and make some profit ourselves. Works all around. So just back. And on the drive home, I've been mulling over a few things. Number one, the effort that it takes to sell on eBay. And as resellers, eBay is already part of our routine. Personally, I know when I'm going to be listing stuff. I know when I'm going to be sourcing stuff. I know when I'm going to be packing. I've got a garage full of packaging supplies as well. So any size of item, doesn't matter. I've got packaging in there that'll cover it. For me, eBay is no hassle whatsoever because it is already in my routine. But if you're only selling the odd item now and then, you can see if a sale comes in and you've got to post it, it would be disruptive. You've got to then make the time to do all of that. Anything outside of your usual routine, yeah, it is a hassle, isn't it? And secondly, when it comes to buying bundles like that off Marketplace, sometimes I don't think people care about actually the value of it. They might just want it gone. And you can see from all of that Lego, it is gathering dust, literally. So it's been hanging around for ages. But also, with toys like that, people have probably already got their money's worth out of it. If the kids or the adults have enjoyed it, built it, had a bit of playtime with it, then that is what they bought it for originally. They've got that value out of it. They know that it's too good to just give away or put in a charity shop. As resellers, we are programmed into trying to get as much money and profit for every item that we sell. But for some families who have already got the value for money out of their item, they bought those items to be used to be played with, their aim isn't necessarily to try and sell it on for the maximum possible price. All they're after is a fair price, get it out the house, get it gone quick. There's a fair few sales to show you from this weekend off of eBay. As always, plenty of variety here, lots of different price points. Let's crack on. First three sales actually are some of those Schleck dinosaurs that I picked up off of that lady. I put together a bundle, four dinosaurs. The reason for bundling these the condition isn't particularly brilliant. Otherwise, I would have sold them off individually. These are all heavily played, really warm. We have got a Brachiosaurus, an Allosaurus, and two Velociraptors. That bundle, 20 quid, all in. Second sale, I sold this one individually. This one's called Gigantosaurus. Yes, that is actually a name of a dinosaur. Gigantosaurus has gone for £10 plus postage. And then the smallest Schleck dinosaur, I'm... I've called it a winged raptor. It looks like a dinosaur parrot, really. 
that one there has gone for £8.50 plus postage. Next sale, I sold this PlayStation 2 game, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelists of the Roses. No manual, just the disc. That has gone for £8.50 plus postage. Power Rangers Mystic Force White Wolf figure. This come in that big bundle of toys I had for 50 quid. I was really hesitant about that bundle to start with, but it's starting to bring a bit of profit. This one's gone for £8.50 plus postage as well. Next sale, the reason I picked this up, right, it just looked unique. It just jumped out at me from the shelf. It's out of the 1960s. It's called a Mark's Sparkling Hot Rod. And what you've got is a little flint there on top of a little roller, which is connected to these wheels. And as these wheels drive, that flint should spark. Doesn't work, unfortunately, and it is missing a few bits around the engine block there. Should have a driver in there, but there are collectors out here. This is number five, and I guess there are a few in the series of different colors to collect. I, I had this listed up for a few hours. It hasn't sold for much. It's gone for nine quid, all in. But I like the idea that this is gonna to go to a collector who's got the rest of them, and this will make up one, one in their set. I bundled together a load of Ninja Turtle modern villains. These are all from 2018. But the best thing about these is they all came with loads of their weapons. Whenever you see figures like this in the charity shop, in the boxes, usually that's all you get, the figure. If it's complete, even better. But these had loads of the weapons. I paid a couple of quid for that bag. Six, six villains in there. They've gone for £20 plus postage. And in this little bag here, I've got a load of Disney cars. 10 larger die cast ones and then five just smaller little plasticky ones. None of these are worth selling on their own. The condition isn't particularly brilliant, well played with. Even so, they've gone for 17 quid plus posters. Had them up for 20, offer come in, just accepted it. Another bundle of odds and ends that I've just put together and definitely underpriced this. I put together six vintage ET figures. None of them light up, they're just plasticky figures. There's an old E.T. necklace in there, a little old E.T. teddy, all of them from the 80s. I put that up, listed it for 20 quid all in, sold within 10 minutes. So there might be something in here which is mega rare, mega valuable. I don't think there is though, because I looked them all up and none of them was selling individually for that much. The buyer's username was a toy shop. So I guess what they've done is they bought this and they'll display it in their shop and sell them off individually in their shop to make some profit. Pretty dull sale, this one. Three brand new sealed VHS tapes. They've gone for 15 quid, all in. Nice pair of luminous yellow Nike Tempo football boots. Size UK 7s, missing the laces, but the colour was always going to carry these through. Moulded studs on the bottom. They've gone for 12 quid, all in. Of course it is. Couple of Spice Girls queuings. I'm guessing it's one of you guys. If it is, you're nuts. But thanks so much for the support. A couple of football cards to show you now. What we've got here is a David Beckham Dream Team card. This is from 1997, Futera. That one has gone for 12 quid, all in. Kylian Mbappe, rookie sticker from Russia, 2018. That one's gone for £20, all in. It's World Cup fever, isn't it? Mbappe had a cracking game the other day. France are really warming up. That is probably gradable, actually. Still, 20 quid for a sticker, I'll take that. And then another Ansu Fati shield. I got that from that free match attacks bundle, £5.50. Final sale to show you, and it is this Eevee here. Eevee plush, what you do is you squeeze her there. says Evie. The best thing about this, right, is it's got a French setting. Let me just flick it on the French mode. That's Evie in French, apparently. That one there has gone for 20 quid all in. Paid four quid in the charity shop for that one. Nice find. It was weird. Like, to test this, like, I, I was squeezing the hand like that. I was thinking, oh, that sounds broke. It, it, naturally, you think that's where, that's where you push. It's not. Monday sales, about 150 quid's worth of value here today. Let me show you them. Actually, first up, before I forget, shout out Sam Sell Stuff. Because he has bought these four little mini Pokemon teddies. These are by a company called Bam Presto. He's buying them for his son. They'll make a great Christmas present. Sam, these are on their way to you, my friend. Right, eBay sales. 
This was the first one I sold. I bought this for seven quid. I bought two of them actually. They were advertised sold as seen. Basically, if they hadn't put any batteries in, they hadn't they hadn't checked if they were working. But these type this type of thing is really really hardy. Digital camera designed for kids. It's only like a two megapixel one. It's got an eight gigabyte SD card in there. I turned it on, tested it, wiped all the memory. That is sold for twenty five pounds plus postage. This is a cool item. I sold this for fifteen quid. It's a McCain's oven chips lorry by Corgi. This has been a mega slow seller. I've had it for ages and I've got a Yorkie one up there as well. This isn't one of the super hauler trucks that I usually look out for, but I rarely see. Those usually go for a bit more money, but 15 quid for that one it is quite fragile. So I'm gonna have to be really careful with how I pack that one. A pair of UK size three New Balance suede trainers. These are five, seven, fours, gone for 17 quid, all in. Heatwave, rescue bot, sold for a tenner, all in. Key thing with these, has it got the ladder? Easy transformation, there he is there. I usually pick stuff like this up, 50p or a pound just in the odd toy boxes. Something else I always look out for in the charity shop, particularly when they're only 50p or a pound, are these VTEC Toot Toot drivers. Gotta be careful with them, often they're riddled with battery acid, but they're pretty, pretty hardy and pretty easily cleanable. I aim for three pounds each usually when I bundle these together. Nine cars in there, they've gone for 28 quid all in. So I'm just over that three pound mark. Early in Harland, limited edition match attack, five pound 50. Three more Spice Girls key rings. Set, you guys are nuts. And I know one of these has gone to Andy. Andy, your message made me laugh, mate. I'm sure your wife is gonna absolutely hate them. But still, there is now only one left. One left. Remember a couple of videos ago I said I was just bundling stuff together, stuff that is just in my odds box down here. Well, this is a good example of that. I had lots of just Thunderbirds, little models, some old, some new, matchbox, vehicles, figures, Small little Thunderbird bundle in there, eight quid plus postage. And the final sales to show you, shout out Luke. Literally jumped on my eBay store and has done all of his Christmas shopping all in one hit. Luke, I put a nice little package together for you here. We have got a ton of Power Ranger figures. We have got the singing, talking Pikachu. We have got a little Eevee plush. And in this bag here, a ton of WWE wrestling figures. Luke, thanks so much. Thanks for the support. I will put it in a bit of a better box. And mate, I'm a little bit jealous. I wish I had all of my Christmas shopping wrapped up all in one go too. So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe and just keep on grinding. 1st of December tomorrow, final push. We're on the home straight on the run into Christmas. Keep it going.